it's Ty Vogue and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit of time since I've done a video like this. I was giving my wrist some time to heal and that has been really beneficial. It's doing a lot better. So thank you guys so much for your patience. So today I'm going to be looking at Glam Vice Cosmetics. I have um, a couple of their products and I just want to um, try it out because I've seen it all over TikTok whenever I see people do like graphic liner and stuff. I've also seen it on Instagram a lot. And I've always had a hard time on my channel doing graphic liner because like the liners I've tried just aren't the best for what I'm trying to do or like I didn't have the best control of it. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be better. I have another product I can try out as well that's meant to do like liquid liners, but that's gonna be a separate video. This is all gonna be like Glam Vice products. When I ordered it, it came with this cute little um, welcome to the party and it gives me a little code so I can save $5 on my next order. So that's nice. I don't know if they do that for every order, but when I ordered it, it was like that. I got a palette of their pastel liners and an individual liner. I um, did not want to get an individual liner of every single color I wanted because I will not keep track of a whole bunch of these. I just thought uh, a palette was the best choice. I feel like it's a better deal to get the palette because I'll, I'll show you in a second, but I was kind of shocked when I opened it. But it, just for me, getting the little ones wouldn't have worked out, maybe for like certain colors. I also got this little metal tray just because sometimes when I like need to mix stuff, I've been doing it on my hand. And this is just like a nice little metal tray with some paint holes and like a thumb hold. And it comes with the scraper. So if I need to scrape eyeshadow off to mix with my um, my medium to make eyeliners, that's that was the other product I was talking about, it comes with a little scraper. And like, I didn't know where I was gonna get one of these. So it was nice that I got it got it in this. I got all of this because one, I wanted to try a water activated liner and two, I needed to hit the uh, free shipping mark because where I live, shipping can get very expensive. So to do all of this, I got um, nail brushes just from Amazon. They're, they're um, okay. They're not like the highest quality or anything, but like for what I need to do, they're fine. And I'm just gonna try them out. Try the palette out and the liner out. And in me trying this out, I'll also um, do uh, swatches on the face, on the eyes, cause you know, that all performs differently. And I'll also see how hard it is to get off. Okay, so this is what the um, pastel liner packaging is. This is the box and this retails let me unlock my phone. This retails for 45 USD and it's currently on sale for $35. So if you need a sale, now's the time. And this is what the actual palette looks like once you take it out of the box. I was very surprised with the size of it. I did not think it was gonna be this big. And then just imagine my shock when I opened it. And the pans are huge. These are huge. They're just like the size of three of my fingers. I thought they were gonna be like a palette of these little ones, because have you seen the um, other brands that have done this? They do like little tiny pans. So like for $45 in all of this, I think that's a pretty good deal. And it's not that um, deep, but how much water activated liner do you need? My goodness. This is a lot, and it also has a little film, so that's good to protect it. And just a rule of thumb, when you have uh, water activated, you want to be careful where you're mixing the water, cause like it can create bacteria. And you also want it to let it completely dry before you close it off and put it away, cause you know, mold. So I chose the pastels because I'm in a pastel phase and I really liked the colors in this. So it has the white, white is like, a liner I've always, always, always had a hard time with. The NYX one just did not agree with me at all. It has a yellow, green, kind of like a lighter blue, and then a darker blue, purple, pink, and orange. And I think these are UV activated as well. So they'll glow when you have like a purple light. So the directions say activate paint using water only. Wet brush and mix paint until achieving a smooth, creamy consistency. Apply to desired area and allow to dry. 
For best results, do not layer application once dry. Allow product to fully dry before closing and storing your paint palette. Use with caution around the eyes, not waterproof. I just got a little cup of water and let's tr start off with the white. So I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush in here. I'm not too concerned with like getting bacteria because I'm only gonna be using this on myself and I'm not gonna let anyone else use it because you know, um, we're in a pancetta. So this is for me and me only. Okay, so I just, I dipped my brush in once and I kind of am swirling it around in here. It looks good. I, I wonder how it's gonna dry down because it looks a little thick. And let's just go on the forearm. Ooh, that's nice and um, opaque. Can you see? Yeah, okay. And you know, it kind of fades off in the end, but that's where I let up pressure. Let's see how much more I can get off with just the one swirl around. Ooh, quite a bit. Okay, and let's see if I can you can smear it once it's still wet. So like if you're trying to get a, a bigger base down, I don't know if that's important for you to know. And then I'm gonna let that dry down and then see if it smears again. Okay, next we're going to try the yellow. And I'm just gonna do the same process. Here's the next one. That one's a little bit um, not as nice as the white. I think I just added too much water because it's not as, um, it's not as opaque. So yellow, I think you'd have to work a little bit more on that. Let's see if the white is dry. Oh, the white is dry. And let's rub it. I can't get... It kind of like, you know like when you wash your face with a, like an oil cleanser and like it kind of pills up? It kind of does that when I rub on it, but like not a lot and it's not like messing up the liner if you can see it's kind of still together so that's good that's nice just a little bit of it peeled up and flaked off okay let's go to the green oh that's nice i think it's my technique that's not making it as opaque but there's is that focusing on the green is the lighting making them all look the same I think they all look the same on camera. To me, they look different. I'll take a photo with my camera, my iPhone camera, so I, and I'll put that on the screen if when I'm editing, I see they all look the same. <laughs> Let's go to the blue, ooh. This is the light blue here. Okay, I'm gonna run out of form space. Oh, that's a good, that's a good blue. Hopefully you can see it on camera. <laughs> That's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the end, so the orange. This is like orange creamsicle color. Ooh, that didn't apply nice. I'm gonna go over it again. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that's hard to do. This is what it looks like initially. And let me go over that again. Yeah, that's not, um, it's not looking all that nice. I mean, I do think it's important as like, that there's a variety of creators who try out products because products behave differently on different types of skin, different skin tones, yada, yada, yada. So I'm just, I'm showing you what it, how it behaves on my skin. Well, that's a pretty pink. Pretty in pink. They're looking like all the same color on camera. <laughs> Whoops. Now for the purple, the one I'm most excited for. But these are really easy to like get wet and then actually get product. Ooh, pretty. That's like the perfect lavender color. I love it. I love. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, those two blues are kind of similar. Okay, so the top blue is kind of more of like a greenish turquoise blue and the bottom one is more of like a sky blue. So there, that's what the bottom blue looks like in the um, pastel palette. It's still pretty, but like, I can see they're very similar. Now for the real test. The ultimate test. I'm gonna do it on my face, but first let me show you what it looks like in the palette once I start mixing everything up. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it kind of just, it looks fine. It's kind of sticky still in the palette, but like that's to be expected. 
and like I didn't use a ton of water so nothing's dripping so it's 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 mess free and there's a huge mirror in here like you can't go wrong I I like it so far now for the face and I'm not gonna do a design right now I'm just kind of gonna stripe it on my face Ta-da! Ta-da! And then let's just go on the eye while we're still working with this color. I just, I don't have any primer on, I don't have any concealer on. This is just mascara on my eye and moisturizer. So let's see how that behaves. I'm gonna go right on my eyelid. It wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be. I didn't dip in water again, so let me tr give that another try. Just to be fair. I just kind of went back in with a, a dry brush. It kind of drags a little bit. I wonder if it needs more water than what I'm giving it. Because, like, it looks okay, but it's it kind of looks like I'm using white out on my face. I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to get it a lot more water. And let's go in like a little different section of the pan. We have more water. We're, we're going to get it creamy. I feel like creamy may be too thick for the eye area though. I feel like we need more liquidy. Okay. This eye is probably just going to be the white so I get the, the consistency right. Oops, I got that on my eyelash. Oh well. Much better. Much better. So it needs more water than you expect, okay? Cause this, too dry, this looks like what I want. And that was me dipping in water and mixing it up in like a different section of the pan that I hadn't already gotten creamy. So that's what what worked. Okay, I'm glad I gave it another try cause I would have been very disappointed cause it's already past the time I can return this. I got this in like uh, early March cause I was planning to do it for one of my princess videos that I never got to do, so yeah. Okay, next color. Gorgeous. And you know what's nice? In the pan, it doesn't like chunk up or anything. It kind of is just, is. That was a bad example, but. <laughs> I was trying to like make it pretty. There, good enough. Ooh. That green did not go on well. But that's also going on top of my blush. So let me give it another try. But you know it should be able to behave on top of makeup. Maybe it's my technique because it's still kind of streaky. And let's go on the eye. I'm going above the eye. Yeah, this is my technique because I'm not getting it on there that great. Do I look crazy? <laughs> And you know, once it dries down like the white, it's not smearing on the other parts of my eyes like when I'm blinking, because I have kind of hooded eyes. I don't know what the definition of hooded eyes really is, but like, it's not going away. Because you see like how some of that yellow disappears when, when my eyes are like normal. It's not smearing on top. I did that. I originally did that, but like, it's not smearing anymore now that it's dry, you see? Can you see that? Am I, am I just looking a little? Okay. I feel like a painting project. It also recommends not putting them on top of each other, but I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try it. Who, who's gonna stop me? Is somebody gonna come through my door and be like, no, that's illegal. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. And I think I'm going to have to move to the other eye soon, but let's go right here. Ooh, pretty. That was a good swatch. Okay, we're going to go on top of the blue. Ooh, that doesn't look that great on my skin tone, though. Like, it doesn't really show up. Try down here. Kind of. Hmm. I don't really like it. I'm gonna go in the other eye. Hmm. 
<laughs> I messed up. But ta da! Let's see if I have to leave my. Okay, if it's still wet, you kind of need to leave it up. Because see that? It's kind of like disrupting if it's still wet. But once it's dry, it's, it's there. Oh, I was going this way. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. It's pretty. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable when it gets on my eyelashes. Oop, oh, oh. <laughs> whoops. Okay, I guess that shows you can go over. <laughs> you can go over color. I mean, it just gl glided over it. <laughs> I'm looking crazy, but they, it's okay. It's all for the test. It's looking, it's looking mm, fancy. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love it. I love it. And on the eye, bam. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice. You see that part there? Bam! <laughs> it's a look. It's a look, okay? Okay, now we're going to see how it removes. And then I have one more product, the little one. It's a little bit different because it's a metallic shade. They have a lot of metallic shades on their website that I wanted to try, but I only got one. So my first test to see how it removes is I'm going to try and remove it with water with a brush. Cause like, what if you want to make a correction or something? Do you have to go in with a makeup remover? So first let's see on the hand. So that kind of, like I assumed, kind of just spreads it around. But if you wipe it away, it's gone. So let's try it on the face. And I'm, I'm gonna assume it works on all the colors, so let's try it on the purple. Yeah, that breaks it down. Cause see, look, I just cut that. Here, let me try to do a, a line. That was a little messy, but I did it. So it works with the brush if you wanted to remove with water. But that's very nice, cause that, um. It may not be nice if like you're going out to an event and it starts raining, but like I would prefer these to be able to remove with water because I had such a hard time removing that white eyeliner from NYX. I don't want to go through that again. I brought down um, makeup remover, my cellar water, just to see. So let me, since I have it, let me do, I'm going to use this pointy kind of a uh, Q-tip. I'm going to see if I can like cut. Oh my god, it worked. That was super easy. It even came up. Oh. I can do like negative space designs now. I love it. Okay, so easy to remove. It is on the dry parts. It's crumbling a little bit in the crease, but where above, like everywhere else, it's performing really well. Like look on my cheek. It's doing pretty well where it's like more sparse on the ends, that's where you can like see it kind of separating and crumbling, but like where it's together, it's looking good. I, I like it, I like it so far. And like for the price point and the size of this, great. Okay, next I'm gonna go look at the metallics because metallics I feel like are hard to get. So this is um, antique gold, I think this was $8 just for this little tiny thing. <laughs> so the antique gold retro liner is $8 and it's eight grams. And they have like color shifting metallics and stuff. They have so many cool ones that if this all works out, I can try. So this is what you get to start off with. And this is how, how deep it is. So that's a good amount of product. I kinda, I kinda like the size of the, the bigger pants cause I feel like that's easier to work with. But like storage wise, this is a good size. On my arm. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. 
Can you see it? That's nice. And let's try it on the face. I mean, it's not like blinding gold, but it's like, that's a nice gold. Okay. Ooh, that looks really good on my skin. Do you see that? It's like, ooh, it's like liquid gold. It's not like overly sparkly. Like it doesn't look like highlighter. It looks, you know, like, um, have you seen calligraphy and they, when they write in gold, that's what it looks like. Okay, and now to try on the eyes. Can you see that above my lash line? If not, I'll go on the outside. Ooh, it doesn't really look that nice over the collar. Oh yeah, it doesn't really go over the other color, the gold. Oh, see, look it, how nice. Can you see that? I thoroughly enjoy this. I can't wait to use this in like a look. I have so many things swirling around in my brain, especially now that I have this gold. Like, ooh, I could like do a whole goddess series. Oh, that would be so much fun. Okay, so if you're looking to get some hydro liners, I would recommend these. The price is pretty fair. I've seen a whole uh, variety of prices on all these other websites. Um, as far as I know, Glam Vice is a pretty good brand. I've seen them everywhere and I haven't heard anything bad about them. And just look at how big and beautiful this palette is. I definitely recommend it. So that is all I have for you guys today. I will uh, be definitely using this in my other videos, but like there's nothing really to review about it. It's just a nice metal uh, pan, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you give this brand a try. By the way, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money and I decided to review it on my own. I just wanted to let you guys know about it because I've been having trouble finding a good hydro liner or any type of liner, you know? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. And I'm also live streaming on Twitch. So if you guys wanna go check me out over there, I will be posting on, I'll be live Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I hope to see you guys there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye.